Hey guys, I am ready to get these wheels to move. And speaking of wheels to move, I have two things for you guys. One, you may be able to tell that I am not in the driver's seat. Husband is driving again tonight, which you guys know I do love when he drives. Um, so speaking of wheels to move, and it has finally happened. Many of you guys have been asking me for a while, when are you going to make some merch? You need to make some merch. You guys have given me suggestions, which I really appreciate. So here it is. Finally, merch has been made, keeping these wheels to move in. So I have hoodies, uh, stickers, t-shirts, and mugs. I also have a couple of other designs, one of them being this right here, little sleezer. Some of you guys may remember in one of my videos, it kind of slipped out. I called Little Caesars Little Sleezers. Seven pizzas from Little Sleezers because my dad called Little Caesars Little Sleezers when I was growing up. Totally didn't even realize it until you know editing the video it slipped out and some of you guys now call it little sleezers so i have hoodies t-shirts mugs stickers for all of them i do have another design um so you guys can check that out and through the month of december if you are interested in something out of my merch store you can use the code brie20 to get 20 percent off of your order i'll leave all the details in the description but i'm finally happy that i have it it's done took me a little bit you know to work on it but I enjoyed making the merch so and the sweater is actually nice it's nice and warm so I am loving it and uh, I'm gonna be gifting the little sleezers mug to my dad <laughs> since this is his saying um, so we're gonna go ahead and get the apps turned on we're gonna see what the first offer brings tonight and get these wheels to move in all right guys finally got an offer after I had to do a little bit of battling with the spark driver app so you know how sometimes they do the verification where you gotta take a picture and turn left turn right well <laughs> They weren't recognizing me tonight. Um, finally, they told me to remove my glasses, removed my glasses, which I've been verified with my glasses on before, so I don't know what's up with that. Take off my glasses, they're still not recognizing me. So I kind of tuck my hair back and it finally went through, so had to do a little <laughs> facial changing. Um, but yeah, anyways, the offer that I finally got from Spark Driver was for $58.71. Sounds amazing, um, but it was in another city. That's that city that's like far away from me, like 30 minutes. Um, and it was also 14 drop-offs for 35.9 miles. That was an absolute no. So a Little Caesars, aka Little Sleezers, must have heard me talking about them. You know, I got the mug right here. Um, I got an offer, a reasonable offer from DoorDash, $10 to 25 cents for 5.7 miles. So we are heading there right now. I am double crossing crossing my fingers that there is not a long wait in there. It's hit or miss. I know a lot of you guys don't like picking up from there because of the wait times, um, but we're gonna go check it out and uh, see how this night goes. Hopefully it's close to being ready or if it's my lucky night, if we can get off to a good roll, it will be ready. We're heading there now. All right, guys, it's looking loaded in here. Hoping my pizza's ready. <laughs> Can you believe my order was ready? We're off to a good start. Customers, 15 minutes, 4.7 miles. We are on our way. All right, guys, Little Caesars order is all dropped off. A super smooth drop off, just how we like it. So we get out of that neighborhood. Offers are coming in. Of course, I had to do some declining. Now, this offer wasn't too bad. Um, if it was slow out here and it was a different restaurant, I may have taken it $7.06 for 3.1 miles. But this was for Odd Mo's Pizza. And in one of my previous videos, this restaurant has bad customer service, no communication 
had me waiting 30 minutes. When I finally talked to somebody, they told me five minutes, pizza was in the oven, come back, check on it. Another five minutes, it just kept leading me along, come to find out the pizza was never put in the oven when they told me it was. It was just a horrible experience. I was like, I'm never taking an offer from there again, unless the price is right. Um, so of course that's a decline. Uh, DoorDash sent me an offer, $7.25, but the miles were ridiculous, 10.4 miles, completely backwards offer. They tried again, $12 for 2.6 miles. Now it is two pickups. Both pickups are in this parking lot. One of them is Crumble Cookies. We are here right now. And then we're gonna go to another restaurant right in the same parking lot. Should be a super easy, straight forward pickup. Um, we're going into Crumble Cookies. ready and it smells super good in there it's one of those places you wish they would offer you a cookie I'd be like heck yes cookies are there are kind of expensive but um, a nice treat once in a while um, we're heading to the other restaurant same parking lot go for it <laughs> I guess we're going to the same place yes <laughs> thank you Hi, uh, picking up for DoorDash, Connie C. DoorDash? Yes. Yeah. Connie C. Oh, yep. Thank awesome, you. thank you. Another order that's ready. If I would have taken that pizza order, I would still be sitting there. That's why it's good to get to know your restaurants. Customer is five minutes, 1.2 miles. Now, another cool thing that I just seen with DoorDash, I haven't seen before, is that there is a picture from another driver which shows the customer's front door, which is super helpful, especially if you're new. That can be very helpful to help you find the customer. This is an apartment. They did leave me some notes as well as where to locate them in a sign that they have on their door which is always super helpful we're on our way All right, guys, cookies have been dropped off. Now this apartment complex where the cookies had to be dropped off can be a complicated one. I've got to say that DoorDash picture from the last driver was super helpful with the sign because I knew exactly what sign to look for, spotted it out, confirmed the address, easy drop off. Let me know if you guys have that picture thing where it shows you a picture from the last driver. Super, super helpful. Love that they are doing that now. Next customer is two minutes, 0.7 miles they seem to be in an apartment as well um, right down the road we're heading there now all right guys another smooth drop off for the most part so I get up to the door now there's no photo to tell me that I'm at the right location um, like the previous drop off but of course like I always say always confirm because it was an apartment that you're at the right building and you're at the right apartment they also left me notes of which doormat to look for um, so all was well except I'm taking a photo of my drop off for DoorDash you know in the app and they're telling me there's not enough light and of course I totally forgot to hit the little flashlight thing because this is like new that they're telling me there's not enough light and I had a light on me and it was kind of lit but obviously not bright enough but anyways I ended up using my flashlight and it worked if you are looking for a high-powered flashlight to help you on these late night deliveries or in situations like this now I could have hit the little light thing but I totally forgot about it um, this thing saves me every time I do have a link down below in the description also an awesome Christmas gift for somebody or even for for yourself and as many of you guys know I do carry my pepper spray for protection another super good Christmas gift for a loved one or if you want to treat yourself always good to have protection on you and as I've mentioned before having it on a wristlet rather than in your pocket is way better in case you need a quick easy access for protection I also got my niece one of these she's 14 so she has this on her sometimes she walks to friends homes so she has some protection on her as well as I've showed her how 
how to use it outside so she's comfortable with it. Also have the link down below for this as well. So after I dropped off that order, DoorDash sent me another really good offer, $11 for 4.5 miles for a Chinese restaurant. I am here right now. And then as we were pulling into the parking lot, they sent a good add-on, same restaurant, which is awesome. Love it when it's at the same restaurant. Another $10.75 for an additional 4.1 miles. It's gonna keep me in the vicinity that I wanna be in. Um, so I'm gonna go in there and check on these orders, but we're gonna go ahead and leave you guys right here. And again, if you are interested in checking out my merch, I do have the link down below in the description and through the month of December. You can get 20% off. Always appreciate you guys riding along with me. And of course, if you did enjoy the ride along, do give the video a like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.